like you're sitting at home waiting for your brother or sister to get home from work or even a party. Your phone rings and you answer and it's your parents telling you that your sibling was lost in a car accident due to a drunk driver. You have to be thinking, how can someone be so selfish to drive home and risk losing their own life or somebody else's? All they had to do was call an Uber driver or give your best friend a call, give a family member a call. I'm sure they're more than willing to give you a ride home to stay safe. Every two minutes, someone is killed in a drunk driving accident. Would this happen if there was a breathalyzer or an ignition interlock um, device in their vehicle? Yeah, it could still happen, but it will definitely lower the amount of accidents happening and the deaths happening per year. Today I want to discuss prevention of accidents, the slowing down of deaths by drunk drivers, and vehicles getting breathalyzers or ignition interlock devices installed. Driving under the influence is a problem because every day in America, 27 people die as a result of drunk driving cases. Do you really think 27 innocent lives a day is worth driving home drunk? In 2010, 211 children were killed in drunk driving cases. Out of those 211 deaths, 131 of those children were in the vehicle with the drunk driver. Why would a parent or even a friend want to put a child at risk of losing their life so young due to their selfish um, decisions? If someone has already been caught driving under the influence, just because they may or may not end up with a DUI doesn't mean they won't do it again. A solution could be an ignition interlock device or a breathalyzer. An ignition interlock device is a device that is installed into your vehicle, like on the dashboard or another part of your vehicle, to where before you can even start your vehicle, you have to test out your blood alcohol level. And if it's above the level like that's programmed in, determined by your weight or your height, then your vehicle won't even start and you're going to be forced to call for a ride, such as you or a friend. If you even have to question the fact that you're, you know you've been drinking and you've had at least more than three drinks, or in another case some people's even just one drink, you can test it, but should you even like want to have that option? Imagine that your parents call you asking for a ride home because they went out and they had a drink and they're trying to be smart and be a good influence on you. And you're driving home and somebody causes an accident with you and kills your parents and you find out it was a drunk driver. All they had to do was make the exact same decision that your parents did and call for a ride home or even just stay wherever they were before. Um, in my life, I've lost somebody due to drunk driving and it wasn't personally affecting me as much as it affected it was my brother's father and he made the selfish decision to go out and pay the ultimate price. In conclusion, drunk driving is obviously an issue. Each year, several people have their lives taken due to other people's selfish decisions. I'm sure none of you would want to lose a friend or a family member due to a drunk driver. Breathalyzers in your vehicles could help people realize they are not capable of driving safe and keep them off the road. This is an action we can take and put it out there, on, even on just on social media. Say your mom just got a breathalyzer installed into their vehicle. Take a picture of it, brag about it. Look at my cool new breathalyzer that I got installed because I'm going to be safe and I'm not going to kill anybody tonight. Or even just go and if you hear about it on the news or something, put statistics out there. Show that it's just, it's so selfish and people need to be <laughs> more smart and even consider it happening to them. If you get anything out of the speech, just take my advice and offer your parents a ride. Let them know before they go home, like they leave the bar, or just their friend's house, and offer to give them a ride home. Tell them, I'll give your friends a ride home. I can give everybody there a ride home. It doesn't matter. Just don't go to the last limit and get yourself killed or kill somebody else. seen that it's only an option and I was looking into it like thinking if you had a DUI already 
then I, I believe that that person shouldn't have to have one. But the only thing right now is it's an option. And a breathalyzer is made, like, just getting your breathalyzer, it's the option to just carry it around with you, like a keychain, something just like that. And then the ignition interlock device is something actually installed in your car. But if any laws do get passed, I think it'll be in every new vehicle that they will be installed. Like, so the, uh, the ones that are actually in the car, like have those been like, tested and stuff? Like, yeah. They've tested them and they've seen like try to do accuracy because you know how whenever you get arrested and a cop makes you blow into a breathalyzer, it's a, just one certain level. These actually like take into consideration your weight and your height and like how the level would be different for you compared to like the amount of your pressure. Um, so I have a friend, his dad lives in Kansas and he was like he was bound to, like he had to because of, of how many DUIs he has one of them. And uh, so why would people that like, my parents are going to say don't drink, they just don't like it. Um, why would they need it to have it in there when that'd just be a hassle for them? That's, that's the issue with it. That's why they're not wanting to force it upon every vehicle. Because there are not a lot of people that are like that, but there are plenty of people that aren't. So that's why they're making it an option. And I believe they should lean more towards people that have gotten a DUI or so. Is there a reason that some people are, like, into sports and because they believe that they're okay. They think that that will never happen to them. And so, I mean, I can speak for some of my parents' friends. I mean, I know they they make the decision to drive home after drinking, and so it's just, it's pure selfishness. Yeah. So, are they thinking about testing that somewhere and, like, making it for people who are not going to have those DUIs? And I, in Indiana, I couldn't find that anything was an option with passing laws on it, and I mean, like, like you said, in Kansas they had to, but I didn't really read too much into it. What keeps my buddy from breathing in it and I can start up my car and drive? Oh, Is there whether a, or not, like, someone say else he breathes in it for it, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I have no idea. That is a very good question or anything. Maybe it, like, add a thumbprint reader on it or something. I don't know. <laughs> or, like, a camera. Like, because they do have dashboard cameras, so maybe along with the breathalyzer, like, the ignition interlock one installed, maybe along but I feel like that'll be more towards people that have been registered as having a DUI. Yeah. Did you have a question? Um, if they do pass that law, what would they do about the vehicles that are already on the road? Like in the past? Like people that have already had a vehicle and said, like, yeah, it's like anyone. my vehicle was yeah. in 97. What would they do about that? Um, I'm not really sure because, like I said, I don't think, I don't see really nearly in the future that being a requirement for every vehicle. So they would just have to go back on and, like, they'd have to see if you had a DUI. Even though it's not a new car, you have to get it installed. No, I'm good. I, I thought.